What's going on, Rock Band 4 fans? It's Sunday, which means it's time to look at this past week's Rock Band 4 news and other rhythm gaming news. So we had two songs uh, make an appearance in the music store this week. We had Radioactive by Imagine Dragons and Never Too Late by Three Days Grace. In addition to that news, we got some more news about Rock Band Rivals, which is coming out this fall. So we learned that there's a newsletter you can sign up for. If you just go to rockband4.com, you can sign up and get the latest news on it. Or you can just be like me and just wait until it hits Twitter or Reddit or the forums. And uh, the other piece of news we got too is Harmonix did a blog post about uh, E3 and they said in the coming weeks, probably in a couple weeks or maybe first week of July, we're going to get more details about Rock Band Rivals. Uh, now what those details are, we don't know yet. Uh, in addition to that, we also had a, a few bit more pieces of Rock Band 4 news. Uh, apparently the Rock Band 4 Madcast hardware is going to be pretty easy to find and buy at probably a discounted rate given that Madcast has to get rid of $8 million worth of Rock Band 4 hardware by September, so I, I've already seen, seen sales on Amazon, Best Buy, so keep an eye out on those sites if you guys are looking for extra hardware. We also got some uh, rumors from High Def Digest. They did a whole write-up on Rock Band 4 and Rock Band Rivals, and they're claiming that Rock Band Rivals won't feature new songs. It's just going to feature new modes and stuff, and they also claim that online play is coming in the month of December. Uh, they have some screenshots of like the uh, box art for Rock Band Rivals, so it seems like that's where they're getting a lot of their information from, although none of this has been confirmed yet. Uh, that basically does it for this week's Rock Band 4 news. Let me know your thoughts on this week's news, and as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.